Mandy will share with you her six delicious warm fall snacks with you. Seriously, in this fall season, it's all about cozy warm snacks. We love them very much. And one of them is this apple taco. And look at that. Oh my gosh, guys, they are so delicious. Stick till the end to see the recipe. And five other recipes that are totally easy and very quick to make. So if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know what, you get notified every time we put a new video. Uh, and let us know in the comments below if you have any favorite fall snacks that you like to make in the fall season. For me, it's everything. Apple, pumpkin, chai spice. Mm. And I like also snacks with cinnamon. They are so delicious. Yeah, so if you don't like chai spice, you can use only cinnamon. You can customize these recipes. So I'm sure you will like it. You will find your favorite. So without any further ado, Let's get started! This is probably the quickest and easiest recipe ever. It's the healthier version of your childhood's milk and cereal. And to add in more crunchiness, flavor and fibers too, I chopped an apple. So to assemble this, I heated up some coconut and almond milk I added in my maple flavored buckwheat cereals. I absolutely love them. The chopped apple. Some chai spice because it's fall and I love everything with chai spice but you can add only cinnamon if you wish you can skip this step and of course drizzle some pure maple syrup stir to combine and enjoy while warm It's such a quick and cozy fall snack, so delicious in combination with the apple and it's healthy. You can make this even for breakfast, not only as a snack. If you've seen our last fall snack video, this recipe is similar to the maple chai popcorn. I will make my popcorn from scratch again. You can use microwave popcorn if you want, but I have a feeling that this way it's healthier because there's no added flavor, just coconut oil and the corn kernels. After all my popcorn has popped, it's time to make the caramel sauce. For this I used a nonstick skillet and added in 100 grams of butter, half a cup of coconut sugar, half a cup of maple syrup, some sea salt and then let it simmer. Then add in half to one teaspoon of vanilla extract, I had vanilla bean powder and simmer for a few more minutes until it gets thicker. After that gently toss in the popcorn and stir to cover them well. Take a baking tray and transfer the popcorn on it.
bake at 170 Celsius degrees for about 45 to 50 minutes. Make sure to stir every 15 minutes or so. The popcorn will seem wet and not crunchy at all at first, but let it cool a bit and you will be surprised how delicious, crunchy and flavorful it is. And still warm, so I consider it a cozy, warm snack. If you don't like oatmeal, you should try this recipe first, maybe you will change your mind. I used to not like it at all, but with the right combinations, it's so delicious. I quickly sliced an apple and chopped into bite sizes. By the way, using a ceramic knife will prevent the apples from turning brown. Next, I added about a cup of coconut almond milk to a saucepan and one extremely ripe banana. <laughs> it will make our oatmeal creamier. By the way, it would be much easier to mash it in a separate bowl. Next, add in about the same amount of oats, depending on how thick or thin you prefer your oatmeal. And my favorite part, the flavors. This time I used apples, frozen cherries, some cranberries. Super yummy! Mango would be another great option, but I wanted it to be fall flavored. And I added in some chai spice as well. I usually let it simmer for only 10, maybe 15 minutes. I find it enough. When it's done, place it in a bowl and decorate. I left some cranberries on purpose to have for decorating and some more chai spice. I love the creaminess of it, the sweetness from the banana and the cherry and the sourness from the cranberries. It's amazing that you can customize it however you'd like. It's the perfect chilly fall afternoon snack. I purchased this rice pumpkin pudding a while ago and I thought I will include it in this video. You just need to follow the instructions. So I heated up 350 milliliters of coconut almond milk. And while that was heating, I mixed the leftover 150 milliliters with the pudding powder. Also, using a whisk is more efficient and easier. Once the milk started to simmer, I added in 1 tablespoon of coconut sugar and some vanilla powder and the pudding mixture. Now it just had to thicken. It was so delicious, especially with the chai spice and the toasted almond flakes on top. A true fall dessert. 
It didn't have a very strong pumpkin flavor, but it was very good. absolutely love baked pears. First, let's make the syrup. In a bowl, mix some maple syrup, vanilla powder and chai spice and stir until combined. Now take your pears and cut them in half. Make sure to cut off a piece from the bottom to be able to sit flat on the baking sheet. Using an ice cream scoop or a spoon, core out the seeds. Place the pears facing up on a baking tray. Drizzle some of the maple mixture on each pear Bake at 190 Celsius degrees for about 25 minutes. You can top them with cream cheese as I did, or Greek yogurt, or even some granola. I won't tell you to store them in the fridge for up to 5 days because there's no need to. They are so cozy and delicious that you won't have leftovers. I wanted to try out this recipe for so long and I made my own version of it. Start by adding some chopped apples to a saucepan with a little water. Cover and let simmer for about 10 minutes until the apples are tender. Add in some maple syrup and chai spice, stir to combine and simmer for another 5 minutes. To make the little taco shells, we'll need to cut out circles. I didn't have a large cookie cutter, so I used the glass. In a bowl, mix about 3 tablespoons of coconut sugar, some crushed graham crackers if you want, and about 30 grams of melted butter. Now it's time to coat every circle. I used my hands because this way I would be sure that they are evenly coated. Invert a muffin tin and place each tortilla circle between the cups to form a taco shape. Bake at 200 degrees Celsius for about 6 minutes until they turn golden brown. Allow to cool a bit, then fill each taco with some apple pie filling. You can also top with cream cheese or Greek yogurt if you like. They are so delicious, crunchy and sweet and the cream cheese gives them a nice fresh taste and creaminess. Alright guys, that was it for today's video. We really hope you enjoyed it. Let us know in the comments below which one was your favorite snack and which one would you like to try out. And also if you have any other um, delicious, warm or not even warm, just fall snacks that you enjoy making and eating, let us know. Maybe we'll, we will enjoy it as well. Please share your ideas in the comments below. And share this video with someone who loves false snacks. Until next time, stay fit and healthy. Bye! Bye!